Hello Zebrahead and welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. In the last episode, we made our way through, we got ourselves Pikachu. As you can see, if we look at our Pokemon now, we have a big old set of Pokemon. I was gonna say a big old set of Pikachus, that's not true. We have multiple Pokemon. I definitely need to heal everybody up, but it seems like we're at the end of the route here because there's about to be a story thing happening. I don't know if we read this sign. Trainer says, when looking at your Pokemon summary page, you can change the arrangement of its moves by touching a move, dragging it across the lower screen, and dropping it to a new spot. Cool. <laughs> Don't think I'll need that, but I am gonna go into a battle now. So hopefully we run into some pretty cool stuff in today's video. I'm not really sure, but... Oh, hey, Lillipop, you're cute. Yeah, we've never seen you before. I'm gonna guess you're a normal type. You look like it. So we got Rockruff, it's Doggy versus Doggy. I'm so sorry, but our dog is gonna win. All right, so we'll use Fire Fang right away. That sounds like it could be fun. Oh, you're using Helping Hand. Well, I ain't gonna help you. You don't even have a hand, you have a paw. Okay, so that didn't actually do too much. You called for help. Are you gonna get any? Are you gonna get a helping hand as you were looking for it? Oh wow, you did actually. Interesting. Okay, so I don't know how long I'll keep Tim into the battle with this, but if we could get him some, you know, good stuff going on, that'd be great. Let's try a bite, then let's see if that does more. I'm really not sure. It's just two level 12 Lily Pups. So let's go ahead and try this. Tim used bite, come on, Tim. You got it, okay, that wasn't, the, that was even worse, so. I mean, I don't think it's just, I think it's just not gonna do much damage because of the fact that um, these guys are similarly leveled. But the thing is, I just, oh, well, I used that wrong against the wrong person. I wish that we had a proper rock type move for Tim here. Unfortunately, we don't, yeesh, that really hurts. Okay, we're gonna switch out Pokemon now. Um, Pokemon. We'll move to somebody nice and strong. Whoa, we'll move the Pikachu. I just want to try him. Let's see what kind of cool moves he might have and see if maybe it'll be helpful for us. I don't think it could go wrong, really. So Pikachu, you're on out here with your cool hat. Okay, so you can use Odor Sleuth. <laughs> that's that's going to be fun. I can only imagine. Was identified. Okay, but yeah, why would you need to identify twice? What, what is that really going to do? Either way, so it looks like we have Thunder. Uh, a Wicked Thunderbolt is dropped on the target to inflict damage. This may also lead the target with paralysis. That's pretty cool. I don't think I need to paralyze anybody if I'm almost twice their level down. Uh, strong Electric Blast crashes down on the target, which also may leave the target with process. So we'll just go ahead and do Thunderbolt for right now. Doesn't have very much PP. It's only at 15, so yeah. By the way, I did get a tweet from one of you guys letting me know about uh, Pokepex moves, which I appreciated a lot because I do appreciate all the tips. I know I need to start Googling the game a bit myself because it seems like I'm getting sometimes some conflicting information, but Peck does more, or no, no, Pluck does more power than Peck. It's easy to get confused because they're so similarly named. Um, but let's keep fighting. So we got that guy taken down. Let's use a Thunderbolt. We're at least getting some experience for this. I really hope that Tim can level up a bit because he is super duper behind compared to the rest of our Pokemon. Overall, okay, so Pikachu's attack fell a bunch there, but that's okay because we're gonna take you out in one hit. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Okay, I'm sure that there is, oh no, no level up for Tim there, but Beardy Bill, level 18, my boy. You wanna learn Poison Fang, huh? Well, you are a poison type, so I think that would be a good idea. If we first check out Poison Fang, uh, the user bites the target with toxic fangs. This may also leave the target badly poisoned. It has 50 power. Let me return to the selection screen. Maybe put that over and... Okay, so the normal bite is dark, but it does a little more power at 60. But I think it would be a good change because we don't really need them to flinch as much as we need them to be poisoned. So we'll try that, we'll see how it is. And Beauty Bill learned Poison Fang. Cool. Because I'm pretty sure those the similar type moves, so. Cool stuff, got that done. I wanted to make my way down here. And, there's nothing down here? Or maybe we've already found what we were supposed to find? Oh, hello trainer. Oh, really, you saw me from there? The first step to surpassing Captain Malo is to strengthen my Pokemon. Uh, okay. Whatever you want, dude, we'll beat up your Pokemon. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> you're challenged by Cook Ernie. <laughs> I love how he has his Pokemon in his little ladle. Adorable. Uh, he's got a cutie fly. Cool. I mean, I guess it isn't that cool because I'm sorry, but I'm the beat up your cutie fly. Unless it's like a super high level, I might have to change out Tim down. We'll just heal up Tim. We got a bag right here. Uh, let's do a, oh, we'll be fine with a normal potion, I would hope. Cutie fly is what, a bug fairy type? I don't know what fairies we can get. I might just Google that really quickly. Uh, because I just need to start doing that a bit more. 
Pokemon Fairy type. Uh, Tim's HP was restored. That's good. So what are you gonna do here? That was like Gust, I think. Ooh, that actually was not so good for us. But we'll try Fight. Oh, it's vulnerable, vulnerable to steel and poison. Well, we're neither of those things, but apparently fire is super effective, I think, against the bug type, so you can use struggle bug. That sounds a little uncomfortable, don't you think? Ooh, ooh, that really hurt. Our special attack failed, but we can use fire fang. Hopefully, it might even be able to take you out right away. Oh, not quite. What was that? Uh, A little HP with using its leftovers. We are going to switch out. And if you know what, it's weak to fire type, then that's totally fine, because we can pull on Charco here. There we go. Did I say flying or firing? Because I meant firing. Um, but yeah, neither of these are steel. I don't know if we have a steel type Pokemon, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't think we need every type of Pokemon. Is it possible to have a team that has every type? Probably not. Because I think a Pokemon can only have two types. Maybe some of them can have three. If you had six Pokemon that all had three individual types, you would have 18 different types, but either way. Oh, have we ever used a Z-Power? I don't think we have. But it's a fighting, all-out pummeling. Let's try it. I'm bored. I'm not bored, but <laughs> it's just fun to beat up small defenseless Pokemon. All right. Show them what you're made of. Charco surrounded itself with Z-Power. Charco unleashes its full force Z-Move. You got it. All-out pummeling. I feel so bad right now. Come on. Oh. Yeah, you were done for. Sorry. Sorry, yeesh. I actually didn't take you out at all. <laughs> it's not very effective. That tiny little bug survived that? It's not very effective. All right, that was just a huge time waster, wasn't it? I'm just gonna go ahead and use a Fire Fang or something here. Um, or we can use Ember. It, it doesn't really matter. Charco used Ember, and we win. All right, super effective. QD5 fainted, fainted. And we got 102, 142 and 182 for Tim. Tim's level 14. Nobody else got to level up. We defeated Cook Ernie. Sorry, Ernie, I lost. Let me have another. You received 560, cool. So there's that done. Anything else around here? I just wanted to see if there's Pokeballs and the whole world's attacking me. There's not. This whole area is just a big old trap. I don't like it. What do we got here? Anything interesting? Oh, hey, it's a little horsey. You're adorable, you're a mud brain. I guess I wanna defeat all the, like, do I have to defeat a Pokemon I seen that's new to get the stats for it? I mean, I know, of course, capturing it will give me even more stats, but I think I just wanna run. If I can, you get away safely. I, I, I've been already dealing with a couple battles today and I haven't really done anything of substance, so that's just not fun, thank you. Let us go over here and get these berries. There's probably a Pokemon waiting in them. A wiki berry. <laughs> Interesting. Well, let me know more about things. La Papa, or Ia, Ia Papa. Yeah, it's Ia, Ia Papa, because it's a capital I. It's not a lowercase L, that wouldn't make any sense. We got another Ia Papa berry. Boom. So let's run into town. It looks like an old Wild West town. What are we gonna find, Tien? Oh. What are you, you're a, like a snip up? Oh, well you make a deafening sound. I never want to see you again. Hey, I love his owl now. Hey Zebra, glad I ran into you so we can see who's stronger now. I got a Z power ring for my Gramps too after making it through his grand trial. Having a battle in a place like Pan Paniola Town feels like we're in a real old fashioned Western. Showdown or something, right? <laughs> this is so cool. Though if we're real honorable cowboys, we've gotta make sure our teams are healthy first. I was about to say that. Are we gonna restart? Thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, I like the cow in the background. I think it's Mill Tank. All right, team. Dartrix and Pikachu and everybody, you ought to all be bursting with energy after eating a pile of my mom's special pancakes. You have a Pikachu as well? So let's show this newbie what a Lola's gun. Newbie hunt? We've already beat you like twice, dude. Okay, we're going against how? So let's do what we can use four Pokemon now. We have six. So not Dartrix. Now you're a flying type, so I could pull out Pokemon. Like, I mean, if if I had a rock type move, that'd be perfect here. Um in the meantime, I could just use you a little bit in battle, because it seems like the more I use you in battle, maybe the more experience you get. Actually, that might not be true at all. Um, you're gonna use Razor Leaf, which I don't think is gonna be effective. Holy cow, did I get that mixed up? <laughs> I think I got it mixed up. No, Tim, we didn't deserve that. 
I thought that Rock was strong against... Oh, no. Rock is weak against Leaf. Rock is good against Flying. That's how it is, right? I'm pretty sure. Either way, what's good against both? Well, I mean, Charcoal will be good just because he's Fire and that'll be good against Leaf. It won't really be any big deal against the Flying, so what's it matter? Fight, go ahead and use a Fire Fang. Ready, Fire Fang, and gotcha. Nice, that's gonna finish you, oh, almost off. Oh, you couldn't move, huh? Why, I didn't see why you couldn't move there. Maybe because you're intimidated on how cool Charco looks. Boom. So there's that done, you're out of here, buddy. Tim's not gonna get any experience now, which stinks, though. 450 experience, holy cow, level 21 for you. Good stuff. Okay. Rest of your team getting experience points from experience sharing. That's good. Um, so you're gonna switch to Pikachu. And with electric types, they're weak to ground, which, well, our only ground type didn't have any ground moves, so we might as well just, I don't know. They're only good against flying in water. So we could keep with what we have, actually, and do relatively fine, I think. I mean, we could have sent out, like, Noiboon. That might have been good. And if things are looking nasty, that might be something we do. For right now, we can just go ahead and use our fire. You're not even using a lightning type move to start things off. So I think we might have this in the bag already. Ooh! Ooh, that must have hurt! One hit, KO! That was great! So we got some experience here. Pokepeg, level 20, my boy! We're getting everybody to the 2-0! Okay, so you're gonna send out. Oh, you have Noibat too! I totally forgot about all this! We don't have, oh man, I keep forgetting. I gotta check it now. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I haven't played in like a good couple days because I recorded way ahead. Dragons are weak against ice, rock, fairy, and dragon. No, I think Google's lying to me there. No, that's Dragon Knight. Oh, why is it telling me about Dragon Knight? I don't know. <laughs> um, I think if I stay with what I am, I'll be able to be at least okay. You can't be too tough, can you? You're level 14, so that's not too scary. Either way, we're gonna fight. Yeah, nothing here is too effective, but we'll just use Lick. Charco, use Lick. Delicious. Oh, that wasn't too bad. You're gonna tackle, which won't do much at all. I don't know, Charco is just so tough. He just takes every hit like it's nothing. Like, I mean, look at the dude, he's made of muscle. He's great. All right, so you're gonna try to bite again. I didn't even use any of my Z moves, but I really didn't find too many, much of an opportunity to. And we just licked him out of our lives. That is really weird when you think about it. Anyway, so you see you, Noibat. 108 experience. Nobody got to level up. That's okay. Oh, you have another one, Eevee. Oh, that was the Pokemon I was thinking of before. Isn't Eevee the one that can like turn into different Pokemon depending on what rock you give him? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so fight. We'll go ahead and use, let's use a fighting move. Let's see how fighting does, because you might be normal type. You can use baby doll eyes. That's okay. Okay, so use double kick, see how this works. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, that hurts. It's super effective, I was right, normal type. So let's just go ahead and do that again. I could use the Z move fighting. Maybe I should have done that from the beginning, but hey. It just takes so long for that animation, especially when this is gonna do exactly the same. So go ahead and do that a little bit. And we're good. Okay, it's super effective. Hit one time, the opposing Eevee fainted, which means we can take care of a Pokemon, and we get a bunch of experience, which is great. And we defeated Pokemon Trainer Own. <laughs> nice, how'd you come up with that kind of battle plan? You gotta tell me. It's called training your Pokemon more. I don't know, everything else I'm awful at. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of a Pokemon real quick. Okay, Pokemon taken care of. So now, what's gonna go on? Something maybe, ooh. Man, that was some kind of battle. Dartrix and everybody all looked like they had a blast tune. True. I mean, I guess. I mean, I just knocked you out, buddy. Right then, right then, here. I'll share a bit of my good luck with you, Zebra. Good luck. Dire hit. You open up the items pocket. Okay, good. You know how the totem Pokemon are all like surrounded by some aura of power? If you use a dire hit on your Pokemon and manage to land a critical hit, that aura won't mean a thing. You might want to try using some of those Rotom powers when you're fighting a totem as well. You know, Pokemon battles are just like, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But you're only really a loser if you don't have any fun while you're at it, right? Anyway, I'm heading off to Paniola, or Paniola Ranch. Cool, see ya. 
So we got Dire Hit. A lot of you are letting me know that the totem stickers, if we collect them, um, apparently we can get those totem Pokemon, at least a lot easier. So that's pretty cool. I don't see any stickers around here, but hello, Lindy. They say back in the days when there was nothing here, not even this town, the people and the Tauros used to roam in hordes. Or herds. Was that hordes or herds? I know all about herds. Um, uh, those hordes, well, I know about herds. You know, I have the zebra herd. Anyways, Pedia lets out the town we developed with our Pokemon. Adorable. Let's go ahead and heal up because we definitely need it. Tim is taken out. We're in dire straits. Somebody save Tim. All right, yes. Let's throw all those Pokemon in there. Just heal them quick, lady. And I'll pay you for nothing because I don't pay you nothing. Okay, so there's that. Thanks for waiting. Okay. Let's talk to everybody around here then. Hello. The folks at Paniola Ranch, or pa pa it's so hard to pronounce, Paniola, it's supposed to be like, uh, like a, you know, a piano, I guess, maybe, or maybe not. Paniola Ranch made all those big ramps in the fields around the ranch to help their Pokemon build up strong hips and legs. Cool. You know how sometimes you seem to be alone, but you feel like someone's watching you? Do you think that's a guardian watching? Maybe, or maybe it's your mill tank just staring at you. Welcome to the Pokemon, may I help you? Let's see what you got. I don't think you're gonna have anything I can really want right now. Uh, not looking like it. What do we have zero of? The potion. Oh, did I use all my potions? We'll buy five of those. We have 35,000. We're finally back up to what we had before we started spending things and spent them all on uh, clothing. Uh, no thanks. And then what about you? Let's see what you have. Uh. Oh, you have some Pokeballs I haven't seen. A timer ball, a somewhat different Pokeball that becomes progressively more effective the more turns that are taken in battle. Oh, that sounds really cool. Let me buy one of those. Maybe if we're like in a really long battle and I'm like, I want those Pokemon. That'd be really cool right there. A somewhat different Pokeball that is more effective when attempting to catch water or bug type Pokemon. We do have net balls already. So we don't have a repeat ball. A somewhat different Pokeball that works especially well on Pokemon species that has been caught before. That's interesting. I don't think I'll need more than like one of those. I don't know why I'd want more than one of the same Pokemon unless I run into one of those shinies you guys tell me about. So there's that. No thank you. So there's some new Pokeballs, I like it. I didn't know there were so many. I thought there were just only a couple different ones like the Great and Ultra Ball. Paniola Town, Paniola is a small town, all right. We get by because we share our work with our Pokemon and they deign to help us with it. Cool. Hello. Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. It's about 12 now in Alola. Here in our cafe space, we provide a moment of peace to our customers. What can I get started for you today? Um, Kamala Coffee is different. Come on, Coffee will be 198. Sure thing, dude. Also, you didn't tell me about you know feeding my Pokemon beans. I've been feeding them plenty of beans. Where's my rare candy? <laughs> I guess he doesn't want to give it to me. Here you are. One Kamala Coffee just for you. Thank you. Here you are. This will wake you up. By the way, are you checking out our, your trainer passport? I get a bit wistful when I look at all the stamps I've gotten in mine. I guess I'm just a sentimental type, you definitely aren't. You're limited to one per day, but have a tea and biscuit on us. This ice cream is especially in, from Castiella City in the Unova region. You obtain the Castiella cone. Cool. So I'll take that, and we're good. We drank all of our stuff. We'd like to offer your Pokemon something on the house. You got some Poke Beans. Yeah, okay. I know, I know. Okay, please come visit us again soon, maybe at another Poke Center, but for right now, I'm skedaddling. I don't think there's uh, any buildings besides that we can go inside. B boy, do you have a big Malasada handy? I'll pay you 5,000 if you have one. Well, you saw your big man, this is, I thought, I thought it was when you saw this big man, your big Malasada. Sure, um, I don't think I'll need it. Oof, but you don't seem to have one to sell. I guess I shouldn't have sprung that on you so suddenly, huh? Okay, uh, whatever. Oh, you're gone? Oh, well, I'll see you. Paniola Ranch lies up this way. It's pretty far through the, the there. It's pretty far through there to Brooklyn Hill. Okay. Apparently, folks have been riding on Tauros in the Alora region since way long back. Yeah, I have a Tauros. I guess you can understand how ride Pokemon became such a part of everyday life here. And I can. If you clear Kawaii's trial, trial, then you can ride on the back of a real Charizard. You can actually fly through the sky. That's cool. So I guess you don't need Pokemon like flying moves to actually get from one place to another. Hello, you. 
Uh, you are interesting. I do need to look in these houses if I want to find more totem stickers, so if I can go in them, of course I will. What was I just saying? Totem sticker. Good stuff, I have 17 of them now. So I'll have to go and check to see if the other houses are open. Magmar knows when to use Ember, Flamethrower, or Fire Blast to get through Strength of the Fire, just to get the Strength of the Fire just right. It's super helpful when I'm cooking. Awesome, is that why you have like eight of them? What's up here, more? Maybe, seems to be a bit of a hoarder, but that's okay. I mean, I guess it isn't hoarding. I mean, if the Magmars are happy, I would be horrified having a Magmar. Wait, is your name Magmar? Was that what she said it was? I don't even remember anymore. I would be horrified having that in a very wooden house, but beyond that, if they are happy and you're happy, that's all that matters in life. I have a lot of cats, you know, they're happy, I'm happy. I shouldn't be judging. That was, that was foolish of me. There's a lot of stuff in this room. I just find it funny we can just literally invade people's pri private spaces and just find stickers laying around, which means somebody else invaded their private spaces. <laughs> she does have a lot of Magmar, so I, I would appreciate it if she would have more room for them because it seems like a little cramped, but hey, I guess I could chill out in their Pokeball. I wonder what it's like in a Pokeball. Is it just a void? Is it like a little pad in there? Do you get like your own bed and stuff? Can't talk to you, but I can take a sticker to get 19 of them. What about you? Ho oh, ho, look at that rock ruff of yours. It weighs less than 110 pounds. Then it shouldn't be too much, take too much damage, even if it's hit with a move like Grass Nut. It's a great how you can check the weight of your Pokemon and info like that in your Pokedex. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's Team Skull, but there's a new member. Yo, yo, Vulpix, give me that bottle cap. Crew. What a bottle cap, is this Fallout? Look at her dance moves. Please stop. What you guys doing? Nothing good, I know. What you looking at? What's this Pokemon need a nice bottle cap for? I'm just gonna put it to better use, that's on. What are you gonna use a bottle cap for? Think about it, you dingus. You there, do you think you could help? Oh no, no, that was a Skull Kid. Oh, I thought this, this, this is not a Skull Kid. I thought this guy was just asking uh, me to help with the bottle cap situation. You want a piece of me? I'll show you what happens when you mess with a Team Scum. Which one are we battling? Maybe I should have talked to the girl because I want to battle somebody new here. Uh, maybe I'll be able to battle both of them then. Oh yeah. I love how there's just like some deep voice like, oh yeah, Team Skull. You know who you're battling. You're gonna win because we stink. <laughs> all right, you're gonna send out Rattata. Why do they all have one Pokemon? Wow, he's got a little mustache. That's adorable. I love it. Well, we have a uh, Tim here. Let's see what we gotta do against Tim. I mean, we could use a uh, fire type move. Uh, it looks like, I, I'm pretty sure this Rattata is gonna be normal, just like the normal Rattata. <laughs> Cause it doesn't seem like Alolan changes their typing. Wow, you're firing up. I don't think you're gonna be able to take me out in one hit, but maybe you could. So I'm gonna see how much we can take you out right away. If I could just get a couple more levels with Tim so that he can actually get a rock move, that'd be perfect. Um, ouch. Let's try that again. Come on, Fire Fang, I got gotcha. you. Nice, that's good. So there's that done, 143 experience is a decent amount. And nobody got a level up, that's fine, you got a piece of me, and I guess I shouldn't have messed with you. Okay, well, see ya, <laughs> we got gotcha. you. Let's go, deep voice. That wasn't very deep anyways. Um, so you're just gonna leave now? It's all your fault just cause you wouldn't hand over that bottle cap. You. Why, why are these guys so petty? They care about the simplest things. Yo, you got lucky, Vulpix. Don't count on people to help you next time. See you, dude. And do that, unless you prefer dude. Oh, thank goodness. Everything's to be all right. That would be fun if she talked just like them, but she just wasn't. You know, she was just an old lady, but she talked like them kind of like dance and rapper kind of guy. I don't know. Bye. Oh dear, what's wrong? I don't know. I mean, you should probably chase after your Pokemon. It'd make this old lady happy if you'd come back tomorrow to a, what? What is that supposed to mean? Come back tomorrow? Like in the game, in real life? What is that supposed to mean, lady? You can't just drop that on me. Um. Okay, so all, all these doors seem totally flat and you can't even get onto the little porch. So I think we're gonna continue through. We can go straight on through like this. We didn't take too much damage. So I'm just not even gonna be worried about it. We're just gonna go up to this next area. I highly doubt we're gonna have another battle. At least not right away. Who are you waving at? Everyone who works on the ranch loves a good Pokemon battle. 
Oh, is that what you're about? Hi there, old lady. I think. Uh, heat well, sleep well, then it's time for a proper battle. Well, that's true. Eating and sleeping, pretty important. Too bad on our adventure we've done next to none of that. <laughs> Hi there. You're challenged by Madam Elizabeth. Hello, you seem sweet. She sound like Car Carbank. Wow, I've never seen this guy before. Looks like an ice type. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use Fire Fang. If that will work, that'd be great. So, go ahead and do it. Boom. Oh, oh, that did nothing. What type are you? Oh, are you Steel? You might be Steel type. I'm gonna assume you're steel type and quickly Google what steel type is weak against. Uh, let's see, in the meantime, I can use a different move, right? Let's try dark moves. Vulnerable to ground, fighting, and fire. Well, no, if it was a steel type, it would be vulnerable to those six. What is ice type weak to? I, I don't know, I'm getting confused. You look like an ice type, vulnerable to fighting, rock, steel, and fire. What in the world is this thing? <laughs> um. Let's just try a normal move. Maybe that'd be better, because our dark and our... Oof, nothing's affected. Maybe it's just a dragon type. Yeesh, yeesh, what was that? What is this thing? You have a demon. Um, Beardy Bill, help me out here. I gotta I got get some assistance. Tim, come back, get, out, get the heck out of there. Oh boy, maybe some poison will do you good. Used Harden. I'm definitely looking at the Pokedex after this because I have no clue what this thing's supposed to be. Fine. Acid Spray, we're gonna lower your special defense as much as we can. You can use Rock Throw. Oof, that didn't do too much. We're pretty good against Rock Throw. Okay, so that didn't do too much as well. It wasn't not effective. It wasn't It wasn't the not very effective thing, so. Oof, oof, that, that's a really hurtful move down. If we could just lower this a ton, it does more damage every time we do it, which is great. And it was a critical, which is fantastic. I think we can get one more hit in before we'll be too low to continue. What is that? We're like falling. It's like knocking us off a cliff. It's really weird. That time it didn't do much though. You are a tough one. I'm gonna go ahead and switch Pokemon again. I'll try, but you were definitely, you used like really rock, seemingly rock type moves. Maybe Noibu would be able to help me here. Hmm. Because if you do have some rock in you, maybe using a grass type would be good, and we do have like a grass type move, or maybe that'll be super duper effective. What in the world is this thing? This lady has the world's toughest Pokemon right now. Um, help me out, Charco. At the least, Charco hits really hard, so that'll be good. We haven't tried a fighting move again, so we've used a fire, a normal, a dark, none of those really did anything. So fight, use a fighting, and see if this helps. You double kick, uh, kick. Not much at all. Yeesh. I mean, it was better than nothing, but it wasn't not super effective again. That does so much, and that is super effective. So, what if I? What? What about ghost type? I'm just trying different things out. See what works. Are you? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That was the worst time to do that. I'd like to just Google card bank in a second. I would like to do it naturally through the game, but that is not. Holy cow. What do I do against you? I'm gonna use my Z power super fighting move. But while that's happening, I'm just gonna Google card bank because I just, it seems like you need to know a fair amount of Pokemon or at least do a lot of trial and error. Category jewel? Oh no, 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 okay, that, that's like, I guess a Pokemon has a category. It's a fairy rock type. Why is this destroying me? Weakness is grass, ground, water, and steel. I mean, I couldn't use Noibu. Noibu immediately got taken out. But then ground, we don't have, like we're just like really unlucky with that. Water, I don't have any water types yet. And we don't have any steel moves. This thing might just have my number. Oh man. Like what can I do against this then? I mean, my best bet was to use the grass move then. Oh man. I have no clue what to do then. Why is this thing so strong against everything I have? This is like breaking my team. I mean, I think what I should do is, while Charco will get taken out this way, it might just be what I have to do. But I can try that, what was that thing that that person gave me? 
It's not in here. I'm looking for the dire hit. An item that raises critical hit ratio greatly can be used only once. Oh, then I don't want that. Okay, well then I'm gonna go ahead and use a super potion on, what's it called? I'm gonna use that on Beardy Bill, because Beardy Bill didn't take too much damage. I can't believe I'm getting beat up by this old lady. She knows her Pokemon well. I'm so sorry, Charco, but it's just how it had to be. You'll get level up soon. You're one of our highest level. You can take it. So I'm just gonna go back to damaging her with the special effectiveness of this, or that the, or the special defense down. It's not a special effect, unfortunately. It's not a, you know, specifically effective. Either way, which one has more power? That has 40 out of 100. This has no damage, because it's just poison gas. This is 15. I mean, the problem is that this keeps lowering the defense, so it does better and better, so I'd rather use that, because you can harden and raise your just normal defense. Yes. And I'm gonna lower some sort of defense here. Oh, okay, that's doing a little bit better. A critical hit as well, which is great. Okay, so you're gonna use Smackdown once again, and this doesn't hurt a ton, but at the same time, I can only take like two or three of those. That would want a critical now. Oh, it's so close, yet so far. Come on, come on. Stop using Rock Throw, ow, my noggin. Acid Spray, I can get one more Acid Spray in there, I think. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Come on. Rock throw again, that didn't do too much last time. Oh boy, can we get it? Holy cow, we did it, what is this thing? You are evil, pure evil, adorable, but evil. I am definitely gonna care for our Pokemon now. We gained so much experience there and Tim still didn't level up. I've had enough, I can't fight anymore. 3,000, they knew that battle was tough. They knew, oh my gosh. Okay lady. I'm getting out of here. We're gonna heal our Pokemon and then maybe I'll just be done with that. Holy cow. I don't even know how to handle that. It just shows that I probably need like a more diverse set of Pokemon, but at the same time, as long as I, like if I had the rock type move there, I think I would've been fine, it seems. Either way, we're gonna heal our Pokemon and I think that might be where we're about finished up. We'll continue on with our adventure and of course in the next episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment scared zebra so now you've watched to the end of it. You are a zebra tasking viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.